So a key abundant concept in ecology is circularity. Circularity as opposed to the linear way. Now the linear way to do things is to dig a hole in the ground, to take oil or iron ore out, to burn the oil that also leads to carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, or you take the iron ore and you make it into steel, you make it into cars, and then you, when you can no longer use the car, you bury it in a landfill. This is a process which goes from A to B, and there is just one lifespan for the product. Things only get used once, and then they get trashed. Now, the circularity idea is the idea that you could reuse things, that you could recycle them, that the, the whole flow is a circular flow. And a circular flow, in a certain sense, is abundant because it can be reused and reused. And if you look at all the natural processes on Earth, these are circular processes. The Earth has existed for four billion years because it is composed of circular processes. So how do we make these circular processes? Well, one way of doing it is cradle to cradle. That is a method pioneered by Bill McDonough and Michael Braungart. And their idea is that we should make two circular processes, one in the biosphere for living things, where it can just rot away and be reused, and one in the technosphere for things which cannot go into the environment because they're technical things and they pollute the environment. We should reuse our technical stuff and we can let things rot away if they're natural. So how do we split things into the biosphere and the technosphere? Other patterns of circularity are a bit like that. There's the blue economy, there is circular economics, there are circular material flows. They all have this paradigm of circularity. And there's another way that is important, and that is to think of them as an upcycle, not just a recycle. Because when you recycle things, in fact, you're downcycling them. Every time you turn pet bottles into sweaters, or you take the sweaters and you turn them into plastic things that you can make garden furniture of, the thing gets a lesser quality. So an abundant way of thinking would be, how could we upcycle things? How could we make things that are better the second time you use them? And here you have a circularity, which is linked to this idea of improving things. Every time things go through the circle, they can get a little bit better, and then we can improve things. But circularity is the key to thinking abundantly in ecology.